Hi everyone and welcome back here on this Tuesday afternoon. Lots of sunshine and temperatures are already starting to warm up here in Fargo. We're up to 82 degrees feels like 83 with that dew point of 63. So starting to inch into the slightly muggy category that uh, dew point is only going to increase through the rest of the week. So a little bit of an early heads up. The good news, the wind is nice and calm. Currently 79 in Moorhead. Grand Forks currently at 82, feeling like 83. Dew point of 64. Wind out of the west, 5 miles per hour. Temperatures across the region are in the 70s and 80s. We're at 77, Devil's Lake. 79, Hallock and Roseau, 80 in Baudette, Park Rapids, 81 in Fergus Falls, 83 in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Now, we showed you earlier before my computer froze up that satellite and radar is looking nice and quiet. Just a couple of passing clouds. Now, turning on the visible satellite. This shows us not only where a few of those clouds are popping up that not that are not detected as well by the normal satellite, but also I want to point out, see this kind of milky gray haze? It's just that haze from the wildfire smoke. So you're seeing it in the atmosphere today, not smelling it. Of course, it isn't going to load either, but we're seeing moderate air quality across the region and through the rest of the day. We're going to continue to see that plume of smoke that we're currently seeing on the visible satellite push into north central North Dakota and a bit more near surface smoke throughout the valley as well. So we're going to keep an eye on that air quality, not only through the rest of today, but tomorrow as well as another plume starts to push through. Looking ahead to your first alert forecast. We're in for a really nice afternoon. Temperatures soaring up into the upper 70s, low 80s across the board. Some of us in the mid or even upper 80s. Less of sun all the way through midday. And then just like the last uh, better part of a week, <laughs> going to see those isolated pop up showers developing this afternoon. They will be a bit more isolated in nature as opposed to more scattered like they've been the last couple of days. So here's by dinner time. A few hit and miss showers and rumbles of thunder, and that continues into this evening as well, gradually diminishing through the overnight hours. Then tomorrow morning to kick off our Wednesday, starting off with temperatures again, generally in the 60s. Be on the lookout for more of that smoky haze, a few passing clouds, but otherwise tomorrow is looking like another quiet day. Lunchtime temperatures, 70s and low 80s, afternoon temperatures, more of us in the 80s to even near 90 degrees with a very slim chance of an isolated shower uh, here and there, primarily across northwestern Minnesota, but again, really hit and miss. Most of the day is looking pretty good with those decreasing chances for showers and thunderstorms. So here's a look at this afternoon, four o'clock, 86 degrees in Fargo, 83 Grand Forks, 85 Aberdeen, 84 in Sisseton, 79 in Devil's Lake, Bemidji and in Wadena. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be a few degrees warmer. We're continuing to add some warmth each and every day through the rest of this week. So low to mid 80s tomorrow. But look at this planning forecast here. A high on our Wednesday in Fargo near 90 and then we continue to push into the 90s throughout the weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Still looking at just hit and miss slight chances for rain. Next week we could see a couple slight chances of rain. Temperatures not quite as toasty in the 90s, but we're looking at still warm in the mid and upper 80s. Oh yeah, just like your calendar says, hot, hot, hot. Yes, <laughs> welcome to July after a rainy spring, early summer. <laughs> right, and I know you were talking about the dangers of wildfire season, it mm -hmm. being dry, but there's also positives. At least we're not dealing with super thick humidity. Very true, yet. 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 <laughs> Give it a I couple know. days. Keep me on my toes. Thank you.